Hi there folks, how you doing? It's Baldrick here. Now in this episode, I'm not actually going to be a doing a let's edit. I'm actually going to be doing a let's restore of this photo here. It's a one of many photos that was uh, given to me uh, from a family uh, album that was from 1900. And it's one of the photos that I thought that would be quite an interesting uh, video for my viewers. And anyone out there looking to um, improve their photos from centuries ago, from their grandparents, from even their parents. So let's dive straight in, shall we? I'll just turn around this way. Okie dokie. So here we are. This is the photo in general. As you can see, these dots here are actually where the photo has actually started to um, deteriorate. Um, so, and straight off the bat, I can see something that will be very uh, interesting to work on. This little bit there. Now, you might say, what is that? I can let you know. That is the actual, excuse me, that is actually where the original photographer uh, did some dodging and burning of themselves or themselves um, so we will actually improve that feature and also there's this gray section going around here might fix it up maybe remove it but you know what you don't want me to be jibber jabbing about this because this will take a long time you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put this to music and go
And there we go, there's my uh, edit for this photo, or if you'd like, my restoration that I've done on this photo. As I said previously, this photo is only going to be about 7 by 5 so there's no real uh, importance to get uh, the skin tone or the textures around the head as such exactly right. Um, and I used three tools, uh, the clone stamping tool, the healing brush and the dodge burn uh, feature that is available in Photoshop. So hopefully you enjoyed this video, uh, leave a comment, you can share this out if you like, and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a good day guys.